Okay, this is going to be part two of What is Wrong with the World by Ben Gessel. Okay, so on this segment, we're going to talk about the way that education is from kindergarten on up through college, basically. And, and you know, not only what, what's wrong with education and how it can change it, but what is wrong with the way that um, there's going to be a social dimension to this as well. Okay, so there are some things I admit that I don't fully understand about the history of education in the world, but I do know quite a bit of quite a bit of things, and, you know, and I, you know. There are certain societies in the past that we don't have as much information about regarding how they went about edu education, you know, the whole process. But I have heard of, for instance, you know, there was a time in Britain when they, when England had like, dozens and dozens of universities, um, even ancient times, and they were pretty renowned. I mean, and I mean, they were top-notch for what you know what the what people knew about back then at least so there are a lot of things this is kind of a broad subject in a way but it occurs to me that there's still a very big difference between the way that education has been and we'll say in the Western world, in Europe and Anglo America. If we're looking at just, well, we can talk about Latin America too. But if we're talking, looking at Europe and Anglo America in particular, uh, we could probably talk about other places too. But um, it's just that before the hippie era, before everything changed in the West, things were very. I'll just say Judeo-Christian. Or they, not necessarily directly, but but all the, the culture, you know, the expectations, the standards, everything in a kind of a how your own personal conduct and you know all that stuff. That the, the culture of, of education was very traditionally, you know, Christian and that sort of thing, and um, the hippies changed that to something not at all um, even remotely <laughs> you know like I wouldn't I wouldn't say I'm not talking about necessarily something that's theological as much as I'm talking about something that's um, the way that people conduct themselves based on um, theology that's a bit more commonly discussed or shared or whatever and so we know we have a, a culture in in public schools, we'll say public schools, that uh, is becoming disgusting, in my opinion. And I've mentioned maybe something about this before. But, you know, I mean, it was a controversial video, so I just decided not to have it public. So, anyway, but... Um, somewhat controversial. But the thing is, is... Aside from getting into the whole... What's the culture like in schools? And I definitely, as you could probably guess, prefer the way things were in the past that I never experienced really because I, you know, I'm not that old. So, um, people, is it when you have this growing, we'll say, aversion to tradi we'll just say traditional morals. It doesn't really matter talking about Judaism, Islam, Christianity, Buddhism. If if you're talking about something. A culture that um, laughs at these traditions and beliefs, that culture being something, we'll say, hum uh, humanistic or secular in nature, scoffs at, you know, things that parents and grandparents held in reverence. How can that be um, something that would help education. People say, say, well, you know, we, you know, it's thought, coming thought of as being progressive, a progressive mindset. 
to take technology and science more seriously and traditional, you know, beliefs or superstitions in their... Look, there are reasons why these religions have existed for thousands of years. Well, these traditions, and if it's not a religion, it's just the way people are. And um, some, a lot of, you know, I, I have to laugh at a lot of people that are just so presumptive as to just assume that all religion, all religions are, you know. So I, I, I don't take Bill Maher seriously at all. There's a lot of assumptions and a lot of assumptions in in, uh, in modern times about how all religion is just stupid, um, or that it doesn't belong in education or government. Or There's, you can say that it doesn't belong in education, or government, to be maybe a, um, democratic about it, you know, and freedom of speech and all that stuff, but. But but personal contact always matters everywhere. It doesn't matter to me if a, if the president is Jewish or Baptist or whatever. What does matter to me is are they honest and are they you know an upstanding person? Is this, is this a person that you can respect as a person? Right? Do you or do you? Are you disgusted by them, or do you are you embarrassed about their conduct, even in, in private? You know, I mean, like, look, is this someone that you're proud to have as a president? Is this you know? Can you say I like that guy? I will. I don't mind paying taxes. I know those taxes are going to good cause. Or do you say you know? You know yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, getting back to education. Yeah, I, so, so one thing that is definitely wrong with education is that secularism is, is wrong because it doesn't, it doesn't satisfy the deeper aspects of our souls. It, it, it's an empty. It's, it doesn't have anything to offer spiritually, really. It's all scientific, and it, it just is an empty existence at some point if you just live a secular life. It um, doesn't, you know, doesn't, doesn't lead to a fulfilling way of, of, ha- of viewing your own life or just outlook on life. Um, who cares if, if we can, you know, go to Pluto or some other planet even in 10 years if... Who cares if we, if we ourselves are miserable? What's more important? Going to another universe or being happy? <laughs> just being content with the, you know, way things... Are in yourself, your own character. I mean, there are things that are more important than science and technology, folks. That is personal conduct. And so you say, oh, it's separate ethics from theology. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, you can try doing that. And I, you know, more power to you, but I just, you know, at some point, you know, everyone's going to say, well, why are we, you know, um, is this it? You know, after we died, are we dead? You know, you know, start at some point. You're going to ask these questions that you think are philosophical, but they're philosophy and religion ask the same questions. They just go about answering those questions differently. That's the difference there. So, education. What's wrong with education? Well, it's great. I think it's great to have things paid for. That's for sure. It takes a lot of tax money. Um. I don't think that inner city schools are very efficient with their money, but they sometimes don't have a lot of money to begin with, so that's not really what I talk about so much, really, anyway. But I think that it's very not, it's, how can I put this, standardized testing and all this stuff. It's just ridiculous. People should learn skills and then use those skills in jobs. In you know, there's a place for learning rote knowledge and stuff. There's too many tests. There's too much tests. There's too much teaching to the tests. It needs to go. Um, and you have all these different kinds of people. And you want public schools are interested in teaching everyone, right? You don't want to leave anyone behind. Well, hmm. 
you ask lots of different kinds of kids how they like public school, and I can tell you, I can tell you, my experience is with public school, sure. But if you, if you ask people whether like whether they're talking about these days, kids in school now, or kids in the past, you're gonna get a lot of the same critiques, a lot of the same not so good things. And we're not talking about we're not talking about just bullies and stuff, emotional things. We're talking about the fact that you know it's. There's a lot of stuff that you spend time on in school that just doesn't help a kid. Really, it just doesn't help. How important are these different things that are being taught, really, to kids in terms of their future employability, different jobs, or their uh, you know, how how important is it, is it to understand certain things? And if it's less important, if it's still important, but not that important, you know, how much do you, how much should you be teaching certain things? So there's a practical side, but, you know, if you're talking about just having people that are educated, the world doesn't really reward people these days that are very educated or refined, at least, at least the private sector, at least companies, at least blue collar work, you know, um, I don't know. I think it's important still to develop, to, 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 to learn skills. Something practical, but something that, you know, if you can come out of high school and go right into the workforce, still find ways of meeting people socially, that's awesome. I think that there should be no reason why someone should go to college unless. Unless they're getting very, very specialized, I mean, really specialized stuff. Unless they have, you know, for sure, going to have a job in their field right after they're out. You know, it's a risky thing to spend all this money. You know, talking about money, the like last "What's Wrong with the World" you know, video in colleges, and that's maybe like a Ponzi scheme, right? It's just you spend over twelve years before college. What do you learn? And, and all that time, throughout all the time, you're tolerating behavior of all these crappy people. To be honest, public schools, a lot of them. Some kids are great. A lot of them are crappy. A lot of them are dumb. A lot of them are stupid. A lot of them are bad. You know, and they, and they, talking to them, being around them, just pulls you down. And you expect, like, these kids, when they come home from school, to be just smiling from ear to ear. Like, like this is their social life, is, is, is people at, kids at school and you expect them after they go to this one school just to kind of be great on their own and network on their own and just know how to meet people on their own and no no and, and like you, you certainly can't expect that from people that are very introverted you know you don't have to get into that but you know I could I could make several videos in that one subject um this is something that's very wrong with public school. It's, the solution you could say is not doing public school, but um, if you want to fix public schools, then you know. And who controls the curriculum? Who who has the say about what's going on? And teachers talk about this that there's there's they're given this curriculum that they have to teach. And that is really messed up these days. Like the yes, yeah, the transgender stuff, and you know, telling boys that they might be okay being girls and all that stuff. That isn't coming from teachers. That's coming from you know the U.S. government and some crazy folks in the government. At any rate, you know, the nuts. They're crazy. They're evil. Let's call it for what it is. And um, yeah, anyway, so it, it's just. I'm about done, I think, with this video. Because, again, if you guys want to hear more stuff about education, I could mention it more. But I found, personally, that knowing how to, at least con basic connecting skills, um, higher, more elite skills in the horn, French horn, piano, and how to teach both horn and piano, uh, how to write music, notation, um, ear training, composition, comp computer technology with great composition, 
Uh, and um, also tra music transcription. Um, these are very, these are skills. These are skills. Um, teaching is a skill as well. And what is not a skill? Uh, rote knowledge. It's a skill to be able to teach history, music history, for instance. But, you know, I mean, do, do you need to be... It's just a question of, you know, again, what, 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 what's going to happen to you after college or high school based on what you have, where you've gotten to? Is an employer going to value, what's, a, what's an employer going to value? Depending on the job that you're looking for, depending on what the employer is. Anyway, more on this later. But this is, it's, it's, um, the way, the best way to, I think, try to enact change is by putting videos like this one I'm making on YouTube right now. You guys, if you want to say something about this, put it on a video on YouTube. People can watch it. People are probably looking for this stuff. Just talk about it. You can try to get involved with local school government, uh, school stuff too. And I don't know how effective that is. I just know that. When everybody is upset enough about something, something might be done. I just know that the federal government, the national government, is well. You know, it's one. It's it's, in my opinion, it's the demon of demons. State governments might be not so great sometimes, but national government is another story. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Leave me, or leave me thoughts and comments below. Talk, catch you guys later. Bye.